Welcome to Premath. In this video, we have got these uh, three identical yellow semicircles fully inscribed uh, in a equilateral uh, triangle uh, ABC, as you can see in this uh, diagram, such that the area of each of uh, these yellow semicircle uh, is uh, 2 pi centimeter square, and moreover, P, Q, and uh, S. Uh, are the centers of these uh, semicircles and furthermore uh, these uh, yellow semicircles are uh, tangent to each uh, other and now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, blue shaded region inside this uh, blue triangle uh, ABC please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our strategy. Since we are interested in calculating the blue shaded region area inside this uh, equilateral triangle ABC. And now let's make an observation. We can see that this uh, blue shaded region area is going to be equal to the area of this uh, blue triangle ABC minus uh, this total uh, yellow area of these uh, yellow semicircles. So therefore now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, blue triangle uh, ABC. And in order to calculate the area of this triangle ABC, we must uh, find the side length uh, of this uh, triangle uh, ABC. And keep in mind that we are dealing with this uh, equilateral uh, triangle. That means uh, all these uh, side length uh, AB BC and uh, AC side lengths uh, are equal and furthermore uh, this uh, yellow region area is uh, easy to calculate we just simply add up all uh, these uh, three individual uh, areas 2 pi plus 2 pi plus 2 pi is going to give us uh, 6 uh, pi so therefore uh, yellow region area turns out to be 6 pi centimeter square and here's our next step. Let's go ahead and calculate the radius uh, of all uh, these identical uh, semicircles. And now let's recall the area of a circle formula, area equal to pi r square, where r is the radius. And since we are dealing with these uh, semicircles, so therefore the semicircle area is going to be pi r square divided by 2. And in our case, uh, our uh, semicircle uh, area is 2 pi. So therefore we can write this thing a pi r square divided by 2 equals to 2 pi. And now let's go ahead and multiply both sides by 2 to remove this uh, fraction. And we can see this 2 and 2 is gone. So therefore pi r square turns out to be 4 uh, times uh, pi. And here we can see this pi and pi is uh, gone. So therefore, uh, r square value turns out to be 4. Let me go ahead and undo this square by taking a square root on both uh, sides. So therefore, our radius r turns out to be positive 2. So therefore, our radius uh, r turns out to be 2 centimeter. And now let's recall a crucial factor. Angles of an equilateral triangle are uh, 60 degrees uh, each. So therefore, all these uh, interior angles of this equilateral triangle uh, are going to be 60 degrees each. And in this uh, next step, I have connected uh, this uh, center P with this uh, point of tangency D over here. And likewise, I have uh, connected this center Q with this uh, another point of tangency E as well. And now let's recall the circle uh, theorem according to this theorem, the angle between the radius uh, and the tangent line will always be 90 degrees. So therefore, uh, this angle is going to be 90 degrees since this is our radius uh, and this is our tangent line. And likewise, this angle is going to be 90 degrees as well since this is our radius and this is our tangent line. And finally, I have connected uh, this center P with this uh, center Q. And as a result, we got uh, this uh, right triangle uh, PEQ. And now let's make an observation. We can see this uh, PD is the radius uh, of this semicircle and we already figured out the radius too. So no wonder this radius is 2 centimeter. Likewise, uh, this uh, radius is going to be 2. 
this uh, radius is going to be 2 as well and finally this uh, radius uh, QE is going to be 2 and now let's recall this uh, crucial fact the centers and the point of uh, tangency are uh, collinear so therefore the centers uh, P, Q and their point of contact uh, lie on the very same line so therefore this uh, P, Q distance is going to be 2 plus 2 is going to give us uh, 4 and now let's make an observation we can see that this whole uh, side length uh, AB of this uh, blue triangle ABC is going to be equal to the sum of these individual uh, side lengths uh, AP this uh, another uh, PE and uh, AB as you can see in this uh, given equation so therefore now our task is to calculate uh, these uh, individual lengths uh, first uh, before we could calculate uh, side length AB and here's our next step let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, ADP and now let's recall uh, so Cartwa and we are interested in uh, sine of 60 degrees uh, equals to opposite divided by hypotenuse and in our case our opposite side is 2 and our hypotenuse is uh, AP so therefore uh, sine of uh, 60 degrees equals to 2 divided by our hypotenuse is uh, AP length and now we know that sine of 60 degrees is square root of 3 divided by 2 so therefore I'm going to replace this sine of 60 by square root of 3 divided by 2 over here as you can see in this uh, next step let's go ahead and cross uh, multiply so therefore our uh, this uh, number square root of 3 times AP equals 2 times 2 is 4 let's divide both sides by square root of 3 to isolate AP so therefore our AP length uh, turns out to be 4 divided by square root of uh, 3 and now let's go ahead and rationalize this denominator by multiplying and dividing by square root of uh, 3 so therefore our AP length uh, turns out to be 4 times uh, square root of 3 divided by 3 at the denominator so therefore our this uh, AP length uh, turns out to be 4 times square root of 3 divided by 3 and here's our next step let's focus on this uh, other right triangle uh, QEB and now let's recall this uh, so Cartwa once again and we are interested in uh, tangent of 60 degrees is uh, opposite uh, divided by adjacent and in our case our opposite side is uh, 2 and our adjacent side is uh, AB so therefore uh, tangent of uh, 60 degrees is going to be simply 2 divided by side uh, AB and we know tangent of 60 degrees is square root of 3 so therefore I'm going to replace this uh, side by simply square root of uh, 3 as you can see in this uh, next step let me go ahead and tweak this uh, left hand side square root of 3 could be written as square root of 3 divided by 1 and now let me go ahead and flip both sides over let's multiply both sides uh, by 2 to isolate uh, AB and here we can see this 2 and 2 is gone so therefore our AB length uh, turns out to be 2 divided by square root of uh, 3 let's go ahead and rationalize the denominator so therefore I'm going to multiply and divide by square root of uh, 3 over here so therefore our AB length uh, is going to become 2 times the square root of uh, 3 divided by 3 so therefore our this uh, AB length uh, turns out to be 2 times square root of 3 divided by 3 and here's our next step let's uh, focus on this uh, right triangle uh, PEQ and we are going to apply the Pythagorean theorem on this uh, triangle and here's our Pythagorean theorem a square plus p square equal to c square and in our case our longest uh, leg is uh, 4 so let's go ahead and fill in the blanks uh, in this Pythagorean formula a in our case is this uh, PE side so I'm gonna say PE square plus uh, b length is uh, 2 square equal to 4 square and here 2 square turns out to be 4 and 4 square is uh, 16 
So let's subtract a 4 from both sides. This is gone. So therefore our p e square value turns out to be 12. Let's go ahead and undo this uh, square by taking a square root uh, on both sides. So therefore on the left hand side our p e length is going to be equal to and now on the right hand side uh, square root of 12 uh, if we simplify this one it turns out to be 2 times square root of 3. So therefore our p e length uh, turns out to be 2 times uh, square root of 3. So therefore our this uh, p e length uh, turns out to be 2 times square root of 3. And now once again recall this uh, equation a b equals to a p plus p e plus uh, e b. And here we already figured out our a p length, uh, e b length uh, and uh, p e length. As you can see in this next step I have uh, substituted uh, their values uh, over here. And now if we simplify it and add uh, these uh, fractions uh, our a b length turns out to be 12 times square root of 3 divided by 3. So therefore our this uh, a b length uh, we can reduce this uh, right hand side this simply turns out to be 4 times uh, square root of uh, 3. So thus our this whole uh, a b length uh, turns out to be 4 times square root of 3 centimeter. And since this uh, a b is the side length so therefore the side length uh, of this triangle is going to be 4 times square root of 3. And now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this triangle a b c. And now let's recall the area of a triangle formula area equals to a half times uh, a times b times sine of angle uh, c as you can see in this uh, diagram. Here we have uh, these sides uh, a and b and c is the angle uh, between them. So therefore this triangle ABC area is going to be a half uh, times our side length uh, is uh, 4 times square root of 3 and the other side length is uh, 4 times uh, square root of 3 as well times sine of uh, angle uh, 60 degrees. As you can see this is our side length uh, and this is our side length uh, and the angle between them is 60 degrees. And now we can see sine of 60 degrees is uh, square root of 3 divided by 2. So therefore I'm going to replace this one by square root of 3 divided by 2. As you can see in this uh, next step I have replaced this sine of 60 degrees uh, by square root of 3 divided by 2. And if we simplify everything on the right hand side this is going to give us uh, 24 times uh, square root of uh, 3. So therefore the area of this uh, triangle ABC turns out to be 24 times square root of 3. And here's our final step. Let's go ahead and calculate the area of this blue region. We already figured out our triangle uh, ABC area over here and likewise uh, our yellow area over here as well. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, equation. So we got 24 times uh, square root of 3 minus uh, yellow area is uh, 6 uh, pi. So thus our blue shaded region area turns out to be 24 times square root of 3 minus uh, 6 pi centimeter square. And that's uh, going to be approximately equal to 22.72 centimeter square. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.